Hi, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be an educational video talking about the differences between the sizes of the Australian Shepherds. I got this question a while back and I just wanted to like remake a better video for you guys. Um, going more in depth from each standard size. So getting straight into the video, there are three different types of Australian Shepherds. There is the standard, the mini, and the toy. All of these range up to 300 to let's say $1,500. They could even go as far as like $4,000 and that's just because of the popularity of the breed. It just depends also on the size and the demand for the breed, which I'll go more in depth when I'm going in through each breed type. I forgot to say, oh yeah, look, they're very energetic dogs. Always this 24 7 Stella, I paid $500 for and she's not paying attention to me today. Was $500. And that's because we got her off a of Craigslist, which is typically the most inexpensive way to get an Australian Shepherd. And not the most smart way, because you might not get a full breed, you just never know with Craigslist. And this is a great example. Stella's already going to turn 8, and she still has energy. I think, or I thought, that once dogs reach a certain age, you just like see them kind of be lazier but that's not the case with these dogs so this is also something to keep in mind <laughs> so like i said the breed comes in three different sizes per se and that's the standard the mini and the toy or the teacup they also call it starting off with the standard size which is my Australian Shepherds, Stella and Nova, they are a standard. They can range from 18 to 23 inches tall, and that's like at the shoulders, and they can range from 40 to 65 pounds. These are my Australian Shepherds. This is Nova girl. She's a red Merle, and she was free because <laughs> she had a litter of puppies, which is, this is Stella. She's a blue Merle. Um, yeah. She has a blue eye and a brown eye. That also runs in boomerals, the different colored eyes. And they could even have half a blue eye and half a brown eye, so it's really common. She has more like hazel eyes, which really suit her because they go with like her fur color and stuff. So sit. Paw. Look at her paws are basically the size of my hand. Her head. Sit okay lay down <laughs> is uh, like two two of my hands females are always generally smaller as an example Stella's a great example when she was younger she was barely at the 40 pound range um, right now she's around seven years old and she does weigh a little more so it might come with age as well of course like feeding and how much you exercise them and everything and she's weighing about 50 to 55 pounds now. Of course, males are a little bit more bigger and bulkier, so they're gonna range the more higher side of the spectrum. The standard is typically the ideal breed of the Australian Shepherd. It's what you think of when you think of Australian Shepherds. The standard breed is most ideal for herding and you know outside work, farmland work, and all that stuff. They're mostly seen in that type of field. Um, and yeah, there's not much. It's gonna be a very short video. Uh, next is the mini, and these are the most common now. They're most common for apartments and you know houses, small houses and stuff. The city life, and you're gonna see them ranging from 13 to 16 inches tall, and they're about 30 to 40 pounds in weight. I don't have much experience with these. But I would think that the standards do need a little bit more exercise than the mini as well. So these are more in the $4,000 range than, you know, the typical $300 to $1,500. So that's why in the beginning I said they can go up to $4,000 and that's because of the mini. And they are more expensive because of the higher demand nowadays. They might go down once the popularity goes down, but for now, 2023, they're very expensive. Sorry, my allergies are killing me. Do you guys remember these? Crazy. So the next one we're gonna talk about is the toy or the teacup Aussie. And these are not recognizable by the AKC, which means you can't put them into clubs or 
you know, have their papers. They're like professional papers. But these are typically 10 to 14 inches tall and carries between 12 to 15 pounds. So they are very small. And I've never seen one personally, but that's very small. <laughs> so I would think these are a little bit less common than the mini or the standard Australian Shepherd. One, because I've never seen them around that much. And two, I don't know. Also, these are fairly new. So, I mean, that's why they're not registered by the AKC or recognizable by the AKC. They're a new type of breed. They're not too new. They've been around for a couple of years now. It's up and coming. So it's like starting to be a thing, I guess. So generally speaking, all of these have around the same life expectancy, which is 10 to 16 years of age. And all of them come in their typical colors, like the blue merle, the red merle, the tri colors, and the standard black red one solid color there are like you know different patterns and stuff when you breed different types nowadays you're coming up with like a lot of different types of colors and like mixes and stuff so you're gonna typically see around the same range of colors when it comes to all these types of dogs and of course the more solid the color the less amount of money you're gonna spend the more rare and like different the color is, like the blue merles, you're going to be spending a lot more money. And of course it also depends on the type of websites you're on when you're buying the dog, the type of breeders, etc, etc. So yeah, that's basically the gist of these three types of Australian Shepherds. I wanted to go more in depth in the last video and I also want to show you guys my Australian Shepherds to give you an idea of the standard Aussie and I'm gonna show them compared to me which I'm five foot two so you're gonna see how big they are so I'm five two so Stella is smaller compared to Nova Nova's dad was bigger oh I should talk about that so yeah this is her standing up <laughs> and I'm short but I mean she's pretty tall compared to me Nova oh <laughs> side by side, they're about the same height, but Nova is a little thicker, um, and she is younger, so Stella's a little fatter, but Nova has already always been thicker boned, I guess. Nova's dad was, I believe, 65 pounds, while Stella's dad was around 55 so that's why Estelle is also on the smaller side I do believe she was the runt so I mean I guess that's also a factor in all that um, but I do have experience with runts being a little bit more big when they grow up full size so it just depends Aussies are supposed to have no tail sometimes they're born without a tail like half a tail and they'll just dock it or, you know, they have beautiful long tails like Nova's. Um, Stella's was docked. She wasn't born like that. Um, and Nova is Stella's daughter. So I decided to keep their tails. One, because they're very fluffy. And two, because it's just not necessary. And I have a different video explaining all of that stuff. If you guys want to check it out, send the link down below. And of course, you could see my other videos to see them. You know, I do like vlogs and stuff. So within those videos, you can kind of see, you know, the daily life of uh, standard Aussie, I guess you can say. And I do have puppy videos as well, so you can see how big they are. Not saying that they're very big, they're just like a medium-sized dog overall. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys found it a little bit more educational. And if you're thinking of buying an Australian Shepherd, it's an investment for sure and you have to be a little bit of the extroverted side or I mean not extroverted but like like to go out a uh, long range of hikes, a long range of walks in general, trips to the park, stuff like that and you'll be fine. You just have to work these dogs. They have a lot of energy so you're gonna have to get that out of them somehow and um, overall they're a very good breed, they're very intelligent so they're very easy to train but they do need training so you can't just like not train them and expect them to be expect them to be well behaved dogs so yeah but besides all that thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any other videos that you want me to address leave it in the comments down below and of course I'll make a video on it um, yeah 
But besides all that, thank you guys for watching once again, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!